From the past few days, chances are your social media feed is flooded with the images of wrestlers protesting. In India, we celebrate women when they bring Olympic medals and trophies to the country, but if the same woman complains about sexual harassment, we silence her. It is a troubling contradiction for a country which has built its new parliament and prides itself upon world's largest democracy and preaches freedom. So in this YouTube video get ready with me to question empathize and stand up for justice because this story deserves to be heard. started in January 2023 when prominent women wrestlers including Sakshi Malik who is actually the first woman to bring a medal to the country complained about sexual harassment by a BJP MP Bridge Bhushan Charan Singh he is also the president of WFI and it is said that he is the main suspect in the Babri Masjid demolition case he was charged with the terrorist prevention act for allegedly helping the associates of Daud Ibrahim who organized the JJ hospital shootout in Mumbai The protests were called off in the month of January itself when the central government intervened and assured the wrestlers that they would form a committee which would look into the matter. An oversight committee led by Mary Kom was formed on 23rd January 2023. The committee submitted its report to the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports on 5th April. But sadly, the report of the committee was not made public and according to the Press Trust of India, the accused Bridge Bhushan was given a clean sheet by the committee. Disappointed by this the wrestlers continued their protest at Jantar Mantar in Delhi in the month of April. The wrestlers claimed that the issues related to sexual harassment has begun in 2012 and they specifically mentioned about four incidents that has occurred in Bhushan's MP bungalow which by the way also serves as the office for WFI. Apart from this there are mentions of sexual harassment during the tournaments both within and outside of India. In fact Vinesh Bogart who has won multiple medals for India in world wrestling championships has complained that she experienced mental torture and harassment by Bhushan for missing out on Tokyo Olympics in 2021. But here are two important things to note. One is that when seven women wrestlers went to complain against Bhushan at the Delhi police which comes under the ministry of home denied to take an fir until the supreme court has intervened and the second is that the sexual harassment committee mentioned on the wrestling federation's website has four men and one woman but all the internal complaints committee should be led by a woman and more than 50% members should be women These two things are the example or the reflection of the reality of how indian laws are altered according to power On 7th May an advisory committee consisting of 31 members and the wrestlers warned that they would take a significant decision if the accused is not arrested by May 21st As the accused was not arrested by the Delhi police the committee decided to organize a women mahapanchayat near the new parliament building When the wrestlers began their march prominent women wrestlers including Vinesh Bogart Sakshi Malik and Bajrang Punia were detained by the Delhi police During the detention the women wrestlers were dragged on the roads and manhandled by several policemen The Delhi police booked approximately 700 people including 109 protesters on the charges of obstructing policemen Additionally during the protest it was found that the BJP IT cell were manipulating the images of wrestlers through AI and spreading them in the social media On May 30 Bajrang Punia Sakshi Malik and Vinesh Bogart have announced their intention to throw the Olympic medals in the Ganga River and staging an indefinite fast at India Gate However they withdrew from their plans after several farmer leaders have convinced them not to do so their demands are very simple one they wanted the accused bridge bhushan to get arrested and two they wanted the committee's report to be made public and if this is the reality of the top athletes who have brought olympic medals to the country then where would a common girl like you and me stand in the world's largest democracy with that thought in thinking please like share and subscribe to winnie for more thought provoking content like this